What's goody casters? Plus Master here. Welcome back to Shiny Ho Ho TCG. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will soon be going over uh, Pocket Dimensions once the cards arrive, and uh, I'll do some game dis discussion, gameplay, and all that good stuff. But today, I want to talk about a deck theory of Napa OTK, and to reference. Um, this is a list reference that I used. How about we go with that? And uh, this is Dirty. He's also Lord underscore underscore Dirty on Instagram. So you can follow him there. I'm pretty sure he's like a part of... Um, he's like a part of Caster Society, right? So let's just take a look at his list and then i'll show you guys my list and the changes i made and all that good stuff all right so first i want to just point out how it's got like a star system i've never really noticed that before but it's got a star star system and it says aggressive one star control one star speed one star which i think is pretty funny um so it's a 40 card deck here we got seven water aura two prism aura two neutrality totality aura and one full moon as the terra and then he's playing three water babies three of the dublin lake monster one napa two flood the earth two three tidal poles sorry one power up red, one New Year's New Beginning, two bookmark, one cryptid nation, one growth, two dampens, two exquisite stews, five lightning in a bottle, and one camouflage potion. He's also got a side deck here, which consists of three level and mailmans, one wood devil, Adam out of Mackler, flying manta ray, first anniversary celebration. Times two, Loveland Frogman, two of those, two Balancing Beam, and two Wallowa Lake Crustaceans. Mr. Krabs, as it was called back in the day. All right, so this is his his list, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I did like the idea, but I feel like there was just like stuff missing and I feel like I don't really ever copy anyone's list. I always want to do my own feel to it, you know. Um, so let's go over what I got here. So I have two Nappas instead of one, just to be able to get a Nappa faster. And if one does happen to get discarded, it's not the end of the world. You have an additional piece now, making it so you're more likely, more likely to get the combo. I am playing three of the Dublin Lake Monsters. I do enjoy this card, just being able to draw one, put it at the bottom, uh, really helps quite a bit. Three Water Babies, which uh, won't always go off in this deck compared to his deck, but it doesn't matter because it can still draw you a card, uh, just not with its effect. So you'll be able to drop it when you have the Torrential River because it's just being a one cost. So it's just nice for that. And you're able to extend and draw that way. I'm playing three of the Torrential Rivers to be able to help draw through your deck. This is also going to act as uh, what his Camouflage Potion did. Instead of uh, us trying to become invisible and then us smacking them in the face, right? We're trying to eliminate and control their board, so we already have a higher control aspect than that build. Then I'm playing, and it increases the speed as well, being able to do that, so you're able to draw your deck faster. Three tidal pools, uh, just be able to draw your deck, and if you don't have the one of the two dampens, then you're going to be able to put some of the stuff at the bottom for further use or to protect it from being New Year's New Beginning. But there's a fly just flying in my face. Um, then I have two Flood the Earths, 
which uh, have potential to board wipe, but a lot of things have flying in this format. Um, I think it's still good, and it's draw power. So um, one of the other adjustments that I've made besides the Napa and the Torrential River is a River of Time. I'm also playing the Wilderness Growth, um, which I think it actually works just the same as um, Cryptid Nation. This is also a good way to uh, incorporate both. You can, like, Cryptid Nation a Gassy. Ga the Gassy's not in this deck, but you can Cryptid Nation a Gassy, and then you can Wilderness Promo um, uh, your growth. You know, that way you have split um, cards, and it's not like you're having a bunch of things, but it is kind of nice being able to be like, oh, should I do growth? Should I do Gassy? Kind of stuff like that. The two generic bookmarks, I'm playing New Beginnings, that way we can just shuffle stuff back. Because I don't really want to discard cards. Most of the time, there'll be pieces that I would want in my hand anyway. Or I'm in, in my deck, or later on. So, that way I can just shuffle it back, like play out my hand, shuffle it back, reload my hand, and go on from there. Um, so I do like the new beginnings better. The Wilderness promo, like I was saying. Uh, the Wilderness Power Up Red, which is a little techie tech. Bait somebody real quick. If you don't need to do that growth. Or, uh, you really need to, uh, throw down that Power Up Red without them seeing it coming so they don't dampen your ass. Anyway. Um... Five lightning in a bottles. We're playing the River Terra because of Torrential River and River of Time, which actually acts semi like a lightning in a bottle, by the way, and helps you extend your plays with Torrential Rivers, but then also be able to stand up and then go further on to be able to make sure you have all the auras to be able to throw down Napa, power up red, while being able to activate dampens and stuff like that. Uh, full Moon. Full Moon is just super good in this deck just because of the Tidal Pool. Um, when you Torrential River and you have Tidal Pool, you you pick up two for free. And then one off of the Torrential River, one off the Tidal Pool because of the Full Moon. And then you pick up three more and then you put two at the bottom of your, your deck from your hand. So you get to draw five, put two at the bottom with the Torrential River, Full Moon, and Tidal Pool combo. And then, um, because we're playing Torrential River, we're playing two Megalodon Tooths and two Mermaid Scales just to be able to kind of have a little machine gun, dig into the deck a little bit, help you draw your last couple of cards. That's also the reason for the Water Baby. Flood the Earth can act like this as well. Um, same with your Water Aura. Uh, the Chaos Crystal, just as a, like, it's kind of just like a swarm factor. It becomes a target for itself. But if you can drop this and get a growth off early on in the game and still be able to hold up a dampen, like you're going to be looking in a good spot. So you're increasing your speed aspect with it. Also with this, with um, the Chaos Crystal. Excuse me. I'm continuing on with the 7 Water Aura, but I added an additional Dark Aura just to be able to secure the napa being dropped and being played in uh we're not playing any special aura so we don't have to worry about people getting fancy and trying to stop the special aura stuff if that's something that gets cited on later on and stuff like that i would say this deck's biggest threat would probably be excuse me probably be the uh cosmic control deck where it floodgates you by calling like spells or monsters Obviously, the monsters in this deck don't really do anything besides Napa, so there's really no incentive for them to be, I call monsters, because even Napa is not going to be that big of a threat unless he has Power Up Red, which is a spell card. So, in those situations, you would want to side something like the Octopus, Oklahoma Octopus, or the Manta Ray, stuff like that, because it has Fleet. You drop it. It's not a spell. You smack that thing in the fucking face. And you call it a day. And you get to continue on with your life trying to 
OTK them with nap up. So if it's not clear, uh, the idea here is to draw um, three to five lightning in a bottles, a Nappa, and a power up red. So you can replace, you know, if you have uh, River of Time, you can basically drop the Nappa and then that would count as your lightning in the bottle. So you can get away with three lightning in a bottles. So you're able to get it off a little bit sooner. Um, it depends on how the board state is, though. And then, uh, yeah, you have a banana. It's hitting for 250. You lightning in a bottle four times. Uh, you smack them in the face and you win. So you're just drawing your whole deck and kind of controlling the situation. Like, you probably will just, like, get smacked in the face a lot. But you're going to be able to control the situation with the Torrential River, being able to hit their shit, and, um, you know, create a decent board state for you. You have the dampens to kind of protect your hand. You can also prevent them from dampening your stuff, but at the same time, you can dampen the power up red if they're trying to do that. It has a lot of utility in the deck, I would say. But the main thing is you're going to need that Nappa to win, which once the deck is a little bit more well known, luckily we're a small channel, so go go test it out at your locals and go surprise somebody. Um, but yeah, so it, it's just smacks in the face. Like this deck is super budget also. Like everything in here is like, what uh release event theme decks and spellbook right yeah except for river of time river of time is probably the hardest card to get besides napas if people don't already own a bunch of napas but yeah so let me know what you guys think of the deck thank you guys so much for watching and uh look forward to getting you guys another deck list here soon that's kind of like what i like about the channel the most i mean it's fun getting the gameplay and stuff but i love uh doing deck profiles and it's really nice to actually have something that um i i wanted to do you know and i've been in a stump with the schmoozicorn thing but i actually got something but it's not schmoozicorn i'm gonna be calling it uh gassy st Clair. So that should be the next one. I still got to test it out and see how it does. Um, put it all together. But uh, catch me on the next one. Thanks for watching.